hello guys welcome back to my channel thanks for coming back to watch thanks for the love of my previous videos i truly appreciate it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the proof of funds for Malta study visa so let's get right into it so the thing about the proof of funds is very easy there is no need to be confused all you need to do is to show your bank statement of at least three months you need to show a three months bank statement and this three months bank statement is to show a particular sum of money in your account to show that you're able to cater for your um living expenses in Malta. so how much is this sum of money is 12,000 euros during my own application my school explained everything to me i need to show the sum of 12,000 euros but if i happen to book an accommodation with the school then what i have to show is about 6,000 almost 7,000 euros but it's around 6,000 and a few hundred euros i can't remember the exact amount but I will summarize it to about 7,000 euros if I book an accommodation with the school. I still ended up showing about 7,000 euros in my own account for my proof of funds. This is because I already had an accommodation. I had a place where I would be staying. And during my interview, I was asked about my address and everything. At the end of the day, the proof of funds you have to show can be high or low. And it's dependent on two things. If you have an accommodation where you'll be able to stay for a long period of time then you don't have to show up to twelve thousand euros but if you don't have an accommodation where you'll be staying for a long period of time then definitely you need to show the high amount which is twelve thousand euros but for me because i already had the house waiting for me i had to show only seven thousand euros so please and please i would say ask your school any school you are applying to in Malta, Tell them to explain to you fully and in detail what, how much you need to show for your proof of funds. At the end of the day, for students that are going to be staying in the hostel, in the school hostel, I'm not sure you need to show up to that amount. It's going to be a different ball game. So please ask your school because this amount will vary. For me, my school is GBS Malta. For your school, you might be schooling somewhere else and it's going to be a different thing please ask your school and i believe your school is going to direct you on the right thing to do so like i said for me i only had to show about seven thousand euros because i had an accommodation where i'll be staying for a long time more than six months i have the proof of this accommodation but for you you may not have up to that case you might need to show higher but there's another thing i want to tell us even when you arrive malta you know you're going to still apply for your residence permit and for your residence permit application you're still going to be asked for your proof of funds so you need to have this money in your account when you're also applying for your residence permit to avoid any stories that touch the heart you know so please make your research make sure you understand this proof of funds thing clearly so that you don't get confused or so that you don't end up doing the wrong thing you wouldn't want proof of funds to be the reason why you rejected your visa no so please make your research ask your school to be sure and make sure you show the right amount in your bank statement and another thing i would like to add is this please when showing your proof of funds make sure that if you're asked the question of how you came about these funds you're able to defend it if you're not applying for this visa under sponsorship what i mean is if someone is not sponsoring you normally if you have a sponsor you're going to be using your sponsor's um, bank statement and of course an affidavit to show that truly this um, person that is sponsoring you has agreed to take care of your expenses in Malta for the period of your studies that's a different ball game but if you're applying for a visa to to school in Malta and you're doing it based on you're the one sponsoring yourself you don't have a sponsor you're the one covering all these expenses then that means you either have a business or you have a job so you cannot write that you're a student or you cannot indicate in your application form that you're a student and then you're showing a bank statement of course your own bank statement that you have 
this um seven um, thousand euros in your account that translates to about seven million naira or twelve thousand euros in your account about twelve million naira and then you're indicating that you're a student and you don't have a sponsor then where did that money come from normally anybody would ask you, you don't have a sponsor and you're sponsoring yourself and you say you have money in your account please make sure that your business or your work or the two combined is something that can actually um give you that sum of money in case you're asked just be able to defend it basically what i'm trying to say is if you're not using a sponsor if you're the one sponsoring yourself make sure that if you're asked what is the source of this money in your account you're able to defend it that's just it all right i hope this um explanation is useful to one or two people out there please if you have further questions ask me in the comment section and please do well to like share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye